Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally we have got a brand new update for the RPCSX PS3 emulator for Android devices after a long time you guys will be able to see we have the September 2nd 2025 build of the RPCSX emulator in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to update afterwards the best settings and gameplay test for games like God of War 3 and GTA 5 if you guys are new here then hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel let's get started so on the official open source github page of the RPCSX simulator all you need to do is go to the actions tab for that simply tap on these three lines then go to actions afterwards you'll be able to see the last build add x86 and 64 abi support was opened about last week so make sure that you are logged into github afterwards scroll down and make sure to add the rpcsx build on your android device afterwards simply launch the rpcsx simulator and you'll get a prompt like this new version is available tap on the update button so basically RPCSX comes in two packages, the main application itself and the internal package which is updated from the inside of the application itself. Now that it has been successfully updated, tap on the open button and your RPCSX simulator will restart and here we go, right here is the latest RPCSX simulator UI. Now you do get lot of features such as editing overlay, so here you can see the control panel, you can edit the control size and settings by going into the edit overlay section and if you go to the settings option, you will be able to see all the settings of this emulator including the custom GPU driver support which you can add by selecting the first option. So if you have a Snapdragon processor Android device make sure to add the custom graphics driver or Mesa Turnip Adreno driver 25.3.0 revision 6 but if you are using a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device or a MediaTek or Exynos processor Android device go with default system graphics driver. Afterwards go to advanced settings in terms of core, PPU threads make sure to set it to 4 to 8 depending on your device specification by default it should be set as 2. It is ok to go all the way up to 8 PPU threads but it might cause crashing issues in few games so for today's video i'll go with two ppu threads afterwards go back in terms of video settings resolution is 720 by 480p as usual msa has been disabled shader precision is low and shader mode is a synchronous shader recompiler write color buffers and read color buffers have been turned on because we'll be testing out god of War 3 demo in today's video as well as gta 5 afterwards make sure that stretch to display area option has been enabled scroll down resolution scaling make sure to set it to 50 percent by typing the value this will decrease the graphics of the game but will give you much better gaming experience video performance overlay has been enabled along with frame rate graph but that's about it in terms of Vulkan FIF for present mode has been disabled by default it will be enabled and in terms of audio settings make sure to set the renderer to null if you want better graphics quality if you want better performance once that has been done we have successfully set up all the RPCSX simulator best settings now you can simply go back import the game that you want to play now that we have applied all the best settings of the simulator we can start testing out some games such as God of War 3 or even Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's go with God of War demo for today's video. To find out how well does our game work, here we go when you open it for the first time it will compile all the PPU models but this process is usually faster in the RPCSX simulator compared to that of the APS3 emulator. If you want a detailed comparison testing video between APS3 and RPCSX simulator then let's hit 200 likes on today's video. Here we go building SPU cache which means the game is about to start finally. Sony Computer Entertainment presents you will be able to see the FPS at the top left corner of your screen. Santa Monica Studio and let's find out if our God of War 3 demo works. Now there is a problem with running these games on the RPCSX simulator. If you have played it before in the older versions then the game just does not work. It only crashes after the intro screen. So let's find out if that is still the case. Here we go, God of War 3 start demo. Let's press the X button to start playing this game right away and see if we face any crashing issues or freezing issues. If we don't face any crashing or freezing issues, it means RPCSX has definitely improved by a lot. And so far so good, you will be able to see we are getting about 20 FPS which is very high like previously we never got this much performance while emulating God of War 3 demo version on the same Android device which I am using the Realme GT7 Pro you guys will be able to see the graphics are being rendered properly the performance is also really amazing 13-14 FPS is actually pretty decent and let me tell you guys uh, okay there is a freezing issue right here there is haptic feedback support now in, the in terms of touching the controls in the RPCSX simulator so I am uh, getting haptic feedback but unfortunately as you guys can see our game has frozen. So still the PS3 emulation seen on Android is not that stable. 
but it is getting definitely improved day by day. Let's try out our final game which is going to be the GTA 5 Grand Theft Auto 5 to see how well does it work. And here we go guys, GTA 5 is about to start in the RPCSX simulator. I don't have a save file for this game so it will be starting from the beginning cutscene and you guys will be able to see the graphics have been so downscaled that nothing is actually visible. And unfortunately guys this time the game is stuck on the loading screen. So in my opinion all of the other games that I have right here, for example NFS Shift and the original God of War 3 they will also work on this android device inside rpc sx simulator but once again it won't be stable performance but the performance has indeed improved compared to the previous versions of rpc sx simulator so if you do want to play some small ps3 titles on your android device doesn't matter if it has a mediatek processor or an snapdragon processor you can definitely try it out with the help of brand new rpc sx simulator but don't expect amazing performance there will be still graphical issues crashing as well as freezing issues. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.